All right, hello everybody. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking uh, this piece here of aluminum and I'm going to be coping it so I can fit this in and make a T handle like this. So what I've got now is I've got my uh, pole saw set up in the milling machine and I've just gone over and I've figured out my speeds here. So I, it's a one and one eighth, so I use one inch diameter. My surface speed is 500 feet per minute according to the recommendations and they say here that I should be turning around 1900 RPMs. But I find that a little too fast, maybe for my old equipment here. So we're going to turn it around 1,200 RPMs. So we're going to go over here into high range. To do eventually. <laughs> All right. Now that we're in the high range, we're going to start it up and we'll slow this down about 1,250, and then we'll see how it cuts. So here we go. About 1250, and down we go. Now one of the problems I had was uh, it was hitting my stopper here. Okay, so let's see what this gets us. Now back it out. I'm new machine. And, oh, we're pretty close. We just go and sand that down a bit, and we should be in there pretty good. So I'm gonna go and sand that down, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I did all the coping. You can see I have everything set up and trued up. I've got this plate here to hold everything in place. And I've got a pretty nice fit on the coupling, on the coping. So now the next step is to weld this all together. And I'm going to start by tacking it, turn around, then we'll weld it all around. So, unfortunately I don't have a tripod so I can't show you that process, but I'll weld it and I'll get back to it. Okay, so I'm done welding up the uh, butt end of the shaft. Here it is here. Hope you can see it pretty well. And voila. Okay. Okay, so what I have here is a piece of metal that I had bent at the local shop. Uh, what I didn't know is that aluminum has different grades, that I knew. But not all of them bend well. So here's an example of a mistake. You can see that crack along there. And there's another one here at this bend. The light's kind of reflecting. You can see it here on the right edge. So I gotta weld all these seams up before I mount my handle, which I just welded. So that's the next step. As you can see here, we finish up the welding. The means turned out not too bad. I was trying different speed rates and, and different feed rates. So now that I got all the welds all done up, I've got here everything glued, and my next step is to mark out where I'm going to machine the teeth. Now what I'm using here is a half inch end mill, and I've got offset half an inch, and I'm making every hole exactly 600 thou to the, to the other side of each one. So 
We'll just move it 600 thou. Okay, lock it down. Now I'll start up the milling machine and here we go. There's their teeth. This one is actually on the center mark. So I'm not going to keep you guys around while I do all these holes, and we'll come back. No. The Put safety glasses on. Safety glasses on. And what we're going to do this time. This. We're going to start by drilling a pilot hole. Pilot. so the hole doesn't wander too much when we go to drill it. We'll try and take a drill. Oh, freaking no, not yet, freaking. Freaking, 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 freaking. You've got to watch through there, and you got to see what it's doing, okay? All right, so we got that. Here we go. I'm gonna watch what you're filming, okay, sweetheart? Okay? You can look at me through the camera, that's fine. Ready? I'll just slow it down a bit. Oh. That didn't work. Here we go. Yeah, I guess now I will pass it on. Okay, so now we'll try bolting that on. That's the car. And that's the deal. Okay, thanks, Peter. Dear Daddy. You can hit pause. Pretty happy. Just hit there, and it focuses. Okay, auto focus. Right. Well, you keep grabbing. Ready and finished. So after doing a bit of a setup, you can see, like down there, the blocks actually should be exact. We're holding this down. Right here we go for just between three quarters, five eighths. And here we have same thing between three quarters, five eighths. So we're pretty well there. So now that this is all set up, I'll get the TIG out and put some tack welds on. So I'm showing you here a final assembly picture of the handle bolted onto the scraper. I did a little bit of cleaning. This is what it looks like after I welded up the handle.
to the adapter plate. We'll just walk you around. And this is what the teeth look like. Here's the handle. Take it up. And there we go. One snowboard park rake ready.